Did you know that tuberous sclerosis complex, or TSC, affects 1 in 6,000 live births and up to 1 million people worldwide? TSC is a rare lifelong genetic disorder that affects a wide variety of organs and may cause non-cancerous tumors and other resulting disorders, including seizures, autism, cognitive impairment, behavioral problems, and psychiatric disorders. Seizures are the most common neurological condition associated with tuberous sclerosis complex and vary greatly from person to person. People with TSC and seizures often experience varying frequency and severity, with some people becoming seizure-free over time and others continuing to have difficulty with seizure control. Approximately 85% of individuals with TSC are affected by epilepsy at some point in their lives. TSC is caused by mutations in the TSC1 or TSC2 genes, which result in hyperactive signaling of the mTOR pathway. Preclinical studies suggest hyperactive mTOR signaling in TSC may also influence how epilepsy develops in these patients. For children with TSC, seizures often begin during the first year of life, very commonly with infantile spasms. In approximately 60% of cases, the initial onset occurs within the first few months. Did you know that the presence of infantile spasms, in addition to other diagnostic features of TSC, such as non-cancerous skin tumors or heart tumors, can help lead to a TSC diagnosis. Infantile spasms typically occur by four to five months of age and affect 30% of patients with TSC. These seizures are categorized by body spasms. Infants may exhibit eye shifts, head turns, grimacing, staring, or distractedness. As infants and children with TSC grow up, many continue to experience seizures, including partial onset seizures, which are characterized by tingling sensations, visual distortions, including hallucinations, and in some cases, loss of consciousness and unresponsiveness. Generalized seizures, which are categorized by the stiffening and jerking of the limbs, falling to the floor, and impaired consciousness. Uncontrolled seizures can lead to a shortened lifespan, neuropsychological and cognitive impairment, learning difficulties, excessive bodily injury, and social disability. The risk of cognitive impairment associated with seizures is greatest in children with early seizure onset, intractable seizures, and infantile spasms. Early detection, careful surveillance, and ongoing management may help optimize outcomes and minimize some of the long-term neurocognitive impacts. It is recommended that people with TSC monitor for seizures and see a TSC specialist or healthcare professional with knowledge of the relationship between TSC and seizure activity as part of their holistic management plan. Although there is still so much to learn about TSC seizures, today there is more TSC knowledge sharing, research, specialty centers, support networks, and resources than ever before. At Novartis, we will continue striving to support patients and families affected by TSC.